Hey everyone, hope you're having a great summer. It's Kathy Judd here. Um, thanks for stopping my my YouTube channel today. I've been working in my craft room a little bit and thought I'd show you what I'm working on. Um, I wanted to come up with a card that I could mass produce and do in lots of different colors and that could be used for lots of different occasions. So this is what I came up with. Um, I started out with this um, Sweetly Frame Stamp Set by Stampin' Up. And I'm going to use this frame right here which actually matches the decorative label punch and I'm also going to be using this other stamp set called polka dot pieces and I'm using the thoughts of you bring smiles and then the stamp down here that has the bird and the wing and the um, leaves now you may notice the little um, scallop circle here with the P. Um, I stick one of these on here whenever I know that there's a punch that goes with it. It reminds me that there's a punch because there's also a scallop circle for these two flowers and also one for the butterfly. And sometimes you might see an orange sticker here that has an F and that just means that there's a framelit that goes with the stamps as well. So that's kind of how I keep organized and remember what I have. So we'll set those aside and go ahead and get started. So I'm making a three by three card today. So I have a three inch by six inch piece of whisper white card stock that I'm going to go ahead and fold down the middle and give it a good press and we'll set that aside for a second and let's go ahead and zoom in just a little bit so you can kind of see a little bit better what I'm doing today. So to start out with um, I grabbed a piece of Tempting Turquoise this is another this is a Stampin' Up! color and this measures two and three quarters by two and a half and then I also grabbed a piece of black cardstock and I'm just going to punch a decorative edge I'm using the Martha Stewart um, doily lace punch. I'm going to do this over a piece of scratch paper so I don't make a huge mess here. And we'll go ahead and start by punching in the center. When you punch in the center it helps you get the most even punch possible. We'll go ahead and line her up. And there we go. We can remove our mess. And then I don't have my trimmer nearby, so I'm just going to grab some scissors. I just need to give myself enough of an edge to glue this onto my piece here. Okay. And I'm going to grab my quick dry. Um, I usually use this adhesive or my um, ATG gun. This is my favorite liquid glue. I know a lot of people like the Tombow Mani multi, multi Glue or however you say that. Um, I like this one because I know that it doesn't matter what I'm working on. If I, if I grab a photo or whatnot, I know that it's non-yellowing. And I know it's photo safe, so it's just my favorite glue. Whatever adhesive you want to use is wonderful. Go ahead and line this up. About there. And I notice I have a little bit of a straggler here on the edge. I'm going to go ahead and clip that. Ah, there we go. Okay. And then once I've got that done, I'm going to go ahead and sponge around my piece with um, a little bit of the Tempting Turquoise ink. We'll grab that. See if I can do this without totally getting ink all over my hands, which is probably going to be impossible for me. <laughs> Anyhow, adding a little color around my card base here. I think it kind of helps make everything just pull together really nicely. Okay. So once we've done that, the next thing I want to do is a little bit of um, edging on my piece here. And so I'm just going to grab a ruler and a straight marker. This is, happens to be a Stampin' Up! Right, but you can use whatever you want. Just something with a fine tip. And I'm using this, basically, this ruler just to give me a straight line. I'm not measuring. I'm just kind of eyeball, eyeballing about a sixteenth of an inch. Best that I can. I just feel like it helps kind of give a great border and just frame this off nicely. Are you dying to see what I'm making? Sometimes it's fun for it to be a secret instead of always knowing exactly what I'm doing, which is why I'm not showing you the card first. You can just wait and see. Okay, so once we've got this far, we can go ahead and put this together. Grab some more quick dry. And then we'll just center this on our court cardstock here. Okay, looks good. And we'll set that aside for just one second and do a little bit of stamping. So I have a piece of Whisper White again, and I've got that great little 
frame from the Sweetly Framed stamp set. And I also have some VersaFine ink here. Keep in mind when you use this, it does take a little bit longer to dry. So either you need to make sure you give it a minute or you want to pull out your heat gun. So I've stamped my label on there and I'm actually just going to set it aside for a second to let it dry so that we don't risk the chance of smearing our ink. And then next I'm going to go ahead and use this tempting turquoise up here. Grab another piece of Whisper White cardstock and we're going to stamp that fun little bird. So this is what it looks like. And you'll notice I always get the wood blocks. Yeah, I'm a sucker for them. I think they're pretty because they're, you know, they're kind of decorative as a block. But I love how they stamp. I'm just really comfortable with it. So I do have some clear stamps I'm sure you've seen. But I really, really love the blocks. So um, I went ahead and stamped this one. But I want you to know I did stamp two. And let me show you why. One little frustrating thing I found about this two-step bird punch is that it is difficult to line it up. So when I come in here and I perfectly line up this bird, let me get it where I want it. So see that bird looks like it's perfectly lined up to me. But now if you look up here at the leaves and you look at the um, wing, they're just not even. So I ended up having to line it up and punch it twice. So I'll go ahead and punch out the body and then over to the side here I've already punched out the wing. Oh, there we go, we'll just take the bird and discard the other pieces. And then here's my wing. Okay, let's set those there. And now that we've given this a chance to dry for a minute, let's go ahead and punch that out with our decorative label punch. And you'll notice I always label my punches, so I'm never confused as to what their titles are. Okay, so let's start putting this puppy together. So I also went ahead and used that same two-step bird builder punch and went ahead and punched out a couple of black leaves to go on my project. And now before we um, put everything together here, I'm going to do one more stamp. And I went ahead and grabbed the Thoughts of You Bring, Thoughts of you bring Smiles. Thoughts of You Bring Smile. <laughs> Talk. Blah, blah, blah. So in order to do this one, I'm going to use my Stampamajig because I want to get this perfectly straight. So I'm just going to start out by lining it up pull into the shot here and stamping it on my stamp sheet and then I can use my little piece here to put it exactly where I want it to be. That looks good to me. Oops, things are moving. <laughs> okay, I'm sliding around. Okay. Uh, I think I want it a little bit more over. So I've got it where I want it. We'll remove our sheet, ink up our stamp, and press that into place. Beautiful. Okay. So then I went ahead and started to place where I wanted my leaves to be. And I kind of want this one to come down just a little bit. I'm going to rip it. I don't need that long of a stem. Let's go ahead and glue this one into place. What do you think so far? I love black. It's such a great accent color and you can add just anything to it and all the colors look fabulous. Okay, so I'm thinking right about there. Okay, and don't worry about the glue, it will dry clear. And then this is going to go in the middle. I'm going to rip this other piece again and add, kind of want it to go oops, underneath, let's see, right about there. So I'm going to move it over just a second and add a little drop of glue on my frame. I can get this piece into place. Okay. That'll hold it into place while I lift it up and add some more glue. <laughs> okay. And a little bit on, oops, I'm sorry, I'm out of the shot. A little bit on those leaves. And then we can stick this puppy on. Right about there. A little bit of a press. Okay, so you can see my layout here. And now we need to add our bird on. And to do that, I'm gonna, first I'm gonna um, grab some 
dimensional foam dots here. Let's flip our two pieces over. Oops, I just dropped my leaf. Or my, I keep calling it a leaf. Um, wing. <laughs> okay. I'm actually going to stick a fourth one on, I think. Make sure it's good and supported. And we'll stick a couple on the back of the wing here. There we go. Just peeling off the backings. And I'll go ahead and slip this into place. Right down here at the bottom. Let's add on our wing. Right there. And then I think to finish her off, she needs a little pearl for her eye. Go ahead and grab one. Okay. And there she is, so cute. And then I thought it would be fun to do a matching envelope. And so Stampin' Up! also sells a fun little three and an eighth inch envelope that'll match this project. So um, I didn't have any um, designer paper that matched the um, Tempting Turquoise, so I just went ahead and used the stamp pad and um, just grabbed a background stamp. This one's by Stamp Abilities. And I think it's just, oh, it's just, it's called um, Medium Polka Dot Background. And actually I kind of lucked out this week. I was at Hobby Lobby and they had their stamp ability stamps for 50% off, so yay! <laughs> so I'm going to lay this where I want it on the flap. And I'm just going to grab a colored pencil here and kind of draw a line so I know where my glue is going to go. That aside and add some glue. This will keep me from going over the line. And we'll line this up. Okay. And then I also want to add um, another little piece of the Martha Stewart punch. So we're just going to eyeball this one. Looks like it's um, not quite a fourth. More glue. Line this one up. Whoops. Thank goodness the glue dries clear, right? As I smear it all over the place. Okay, then we can grab our scissors and trim off the excess. We have a lovely coordinating envelope to go with our little card. So cute. <laughs> the envelope, there's the card. So let's widen our shot just a little bit here. So now you can see it in blue. And we're going to really come wide here. Okay, so blue. And then I also made one in pink, which is Melon Mambo, Pacific Point. Um, rich Razzleberry, Pumpkin Pie, Gumball Green, and Daffodil Delight. So anyhow, that's what I've been working on today. I thought this would be a fun one to mass produce, and I thought the great little sane thoughts of you bring smiles would be easy enough to just add a quick little thank you, or happy birthday, or thinking of you. Just to make this, this, to make this card anything you want it to be. Anyhow, thanks for watching. Hope you've had fun. And I'll see you next time. Thanks. Bye.